Hello, this is Jerry Allen from Thames Valley University. Welcome to the first in a series of presentations on bid writing. You'll find this information useful if you are thinking about writing a bid or applying for a grant or research funds. Equally, you may just be interested in bid writing. Perhaps you have attended one of my staff development sessions, so this will be an opportunity to watch again. In this session, I intend to look at the reasons why we should be submitting grant applications, then how and where to identify bidding opportunities, and there are lots of these. There are many benefits to bid writing. Let's just look at a few. Naturally, winning a bid or receiving a grant will generate funds for your institution. As such, there are financial rewards for this success. It could also help to raise both your own and your institution's reputation on a regional, national or international stage. To avoid simply chasing cash, it is wise to be selective in your bids and only target those with opportunities which have a strategic, strategic fit with your organisation providing a close union between what you can offer and what the bid requires. Successful bid outcomes make staff stand out from the crowd, highlight, highlight them as successful professionals in their field, particularly in the case with research or niche, bid, niche bids. Finally, and probably most importantly for many universities, external funding can support third stream income to support activities for the Quality Assurance Agency for Higher Education, the QAA, and the new Research Excellence Framework, the REF. In terms of the opportunities and how to identify them, this is where you will need to invest a little time to receive regular email alerts to keep abreast of new funding calls and opportunities that meet your particular area of expertise. Broadly speaking, there is a spectrum of opportunities which at one end fall into what might be called pure research and at the other end project-based initiatives with a whole host in between. An example of pure research funding would be the Joint Information Systems Committee or JISC who fund a range of infrastructure services, innovation initiatives and studies mostly based around information technology or the Economic, Social and Research Council, the ESRC, who, as you would expect by the title, are one of the UK's leading agencies for research funding into economic and social sciences. Whilst there may be some project funding opportunities within these organisations, predominantly project funding is derived from different sources, such as the Regional Development Agencies, or RDAs. The trick here is to find their strategic plans, examine these carefully and work out their priorities to address their particular needs. One popular avenue for funding are trust funds, <coughs> lottery opportunities or specific regional awards, which tend to operate at a more localised level to focus on the specific needs of particular community groups. Looking at where to find these informa information on these opportunities, I have included a list which cover a broad range of both research and project funding. I suggest that you work through these to identify those which may be of interest to you. Some are quite generic to help you stay up to date with emerging funding calls. Some of these links are more specific to our interest at Thames Valley University in London you will find similar links in your area. There are plenty of these sites and the list is far from exhaustive. If you find other relevant links please email me and I will include these on my next upload. So in this session I have dealt with why we should submit bids, examine several key benefits and how and where to find funding opportunities. In the next session, I will cover some tactics for bid writing,
key tips for success and work through one financial model. I hope that you found it useful. For more information you can contact me at the link below. Thanks for listening and I hope to see you soon.